Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this video right here with my new hairdo preparing for my um, for Christmas holidays, especially with the lockdown affecting on the 27th. So, still looking good with my hairdo right here. New hair, new hairstyle, especially with my new uh, shaving off my beard as well. So, make sure I can prepare for myself. So, anyway, Hal, um, as you know by the title right now, uh, at least you watched it already. Jon Snow makes his final appearance for Channel 4 News as a news program and he will be uh, joining, he will be um, chilling on Christmas. He retired from the news program so he's heading to a new project. So we'll be heading on this channel like this one. It's now showing um, um, what's it called with, with it is. But I don't know what it is but we'll find out what it is. Um, I can't believe that Jon Snow's left Channel 4 News since 1989 and also he left ITN as well since so the first came to join it was the 1950s and the 60s probably back in the day he was when he was very young he was he was young grown adult back in the day until now until he was very old so at least we'll be like well feels like he will be retiring I'm retired for Channel 4 News as, as much as I do but he will be still making on this channel but not the news program but i will gonna miss him on the news every weekday at seven o'clock in the evening so i really miss him um uh, like let's see john's now was about as well if you want to check out on youtube right now or what could check out on youtube to see john snow back in the old days and also watching uh see him uh look back at his old decades that john snow presented for itn but also channel 4 news too both in the same time what it is, ITN Channel 4 are paying, uh, paying a big thank you, big thanks to Jon Snow, who did uh, presenting it and the journalism and stuff like that. All that stuff he's been doing the most back in the old days, especially looking back in the old days, like in the Iraq War and uh, the wars being going on in the Middle East, in America, Russia, everything as well. Gordon Brown, an interview as well was the best one I saw and interviewing like a bunch of celebrities like India and like India uh India oh what I got it is um uh Angel Angelina Jolie and uh the Hel Hillary Clinton the US president um and especially the UK Prime Minister as well the mayor of London I don't know where it is um and all a bunch of stuff of this throwback and some highlights back in the old days as well until now and then out and the end before the end of the, of the news part of the news on channel for news they paid a goodbye message and thank you message the first one was sir trevor mcdonald so sir trevor mcdonald john snow are the best buds but he became best best buds for itn as part from channel for news too so these are the first ones that sir trevor mcdonald pays a big goodbye message to john snow was the best one as well. I also really like the um, that talk about really nice to see Jon Snow, see him in the or in in the news in the headquarters of ITN, and especially the show. They always be loved to him as well. That Sir Trevor McDonald was the first one to be a thank you message for Jon Snow. The second one is the Scottish Prime Minister. I don't know where it is. It's called Nicola, Nicola Sturgeon. I knew it's Nicola Sturgeon was the second one of a thank you, goodbye message to Jon Snow. And then Gordon Brown, that the interview today, paid a, a thank you message of a very a good luck message as well. And especially everyone around, like, interviewing everybody who's going to miss Jon Snow the most. But who's going to be uh, the next one? But who's going to be the most next one's going to be like? So we'll find out. And especially... Jamie Oliver pays a thank you, a goodbye message too, especially watching the cookery show too as well. And also, and the Channel 4 editor, Channel 4 news editor, Brian D. Pear, pays a goodbye at the end. And then, at the end of the news, Channel 4 news program, about until 8, for 8 o'clock, before showing a short brief of the weather, Jon Snow's final send-off. They led, head off to like, Pay some goodbyes, give him some hugs, like you know, precaution of the COVID precautions. Um, everyone pays a goodbye and good luck. Walks out into the uh, walks out the exit into the doorway from the last time as the ITN headquarters, and before he left the show or the news program, not just the 
other shows, but the news program here of the show. Well, I just want to say, Jon Snow, thank you so much for being looking onto the screens for about over a decade, for a long, long time the century, and I'm really going to miss him, see him in the old, um, old news channel, old news uh, program, and see what it looks like. But who is going to replace him? I don't know. It will be all of them, which is just three. And definitely will be the same. Jon Snow will never be the same again with Channel 4 News without him. And whoever going to be miss is going to miss him the most. Fred Diner's left ITV Meridian, ITV Meridian, but he's still going to make uh, crime shows and also ITV's How as well. So, and now the second time they left the show. Channel 4 News presenter Jon Snow left today. Already right now, he left the building already. Um, I watched it on Plus One because I missed it, the, the main one. I, I've watched it Plus One. Nana watched it as well. Watched the uh, um, goodbye message for goodbyes of Jon Snow's final final appearance of the show. Final percent of the show. Nana just watched it. Um, Nana sent me a message uh, before I watched it on Plus One. It was like um, a tear-jerking moment that Jon Snow left left the program and I want to do it on YouTube especially I did a I did record on the final send off already on my Facebook so I'm definitely going to see him the most and everyone's uploading to YouTube at the moment of Jon Snow's final show today today especially as well and now Jon Snow tomorrow will be looking on to see what's been on the day okay so now tomorrow Jon Snow has now heading home to celebrate Christmas Eve with a family, spending Christmas time with my family, his family as well, or something like that, spending time on Christmas Eve, um, chilling as well like that, see what throwback's all about. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is always the best to be. Uh, Christmas still mu Christmas must go on. The Christmas are go on because not going to many restrictions today or mystery, many restrictions at all for Christmas and. Yeah, I can't believe that John Snow left the show, um, the news program, for the last time. So, so that's the news right here. That's the uh, video right here for a goodbye message for John Snow. He was the best news presenter I can ever done. Like, now we're heading to start the new for 2022. So at least now, at the end of Christmas, we're now going to move on to a new start. So, you know... A new start, like my haircut is a new start as well. So we're getting onto the shit where it is. So I'm gonna pack my bags and get out to my mom, onto my family's, and um, spend time at Christmas. So that's what that's what supposed to, that's what I'm going to do. So so yeah, um, so yeah. Good night, goodbye, happy Christmas, and a happy New Year for Jon Snow. Um, I know I know it's not gonna be snowing, Jon Snow, like. Reminds me of Game of Thrones, but actual Jon Snow of the news presenter, of the main man himself. He was pleasant, he was excellent, and it was very privileged, very privileged to be on the on the show, see his faces for longer decades. I'm gonna miss him terribly, but he's still keeping on watching him. He will still keep watching him for a long time to come. So we're not on the news channel, sorry, the news program. So. Have a good Christmas, Jon Snow. Take care. I want to wish you best of luck. <laughs> I've absolutely watched it on the show for a very long time. And now I'm going to end this part here. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take care. And goodbye.